colleagues have feelings, but I felt they really loved me. <laughs> Very exciting job, it really is. Ah. It's agriculture and natural resources and farming was life to me. And we work hard and we're proud that we work hard. We are wanting to present a different way of doing things. Well, the College Farm really has two main purposes. The, the first one, of course, it's a laboratory for students to learn, to apply what they have learned in classes. And then the second function is to serve as a model of sustainable agriculture for the region. And when I say sustainable, I'm talking about economic, environmental, and social sustainability. So we want a whole working system that can be applied to this region. Well, the Bria College Farm is about 500 acres. It includes pasture land, uh, row crop land, uh, some woodlots, horticultural ground, which is the gardens and the fruit production. And uh, it, it did emerge from a very small, a modest beginning of just a couple acres, a few milk cows. It expanded and by the 1930s it was highly diversified, over 60 acres of fruits and vegetables. Uh, a canning facility, uh, poultry was added, a dairy, large dairy, cheese making, uh, very impressive. And in some ways we're trying to get back to where we once were. Uh, we see that as a level of self-sufficiency that Berea is known for. We use the farm to a great extent in the courses that we teach. In fact, most of the laboratory portions of the courses we teach involve the farm. It's not just something on a, on a page in a textbook. Berea College Farm is a highly diversified farm, meaning that we have a lot of different enterprises, both crops and livestock. So we have beef cattle, pigs, and goats. Uh, we grow corn, wheat, alfalfa, and a number of other crops, and most of those go to feed animals. Some of the innovative projects that we've been pursuing in recent years include the transition of about 85 acres of land to organic certification. This is land that previously was used to grow uh, row crops and hay crops for cattle. Uh, we've fenced it off now so that we'll have the capability of actually grazing cattle in those fields, and we'll have long rotations so that we'll have opportunities for students to learn both conventional crop production systems as well as organic. I genuinely love going to get food waste, taking it out in the field and knowing that it's going to do its magic and we're going to have really, really healthy um, soil later. If I describe the Bree College Farm in Woodward, I would say changing. Well, we've made a number of changes in the livestock operations in recent years. One of the big ones is moving the hogs out from a traditional confinement system to a pasture-based system. This means that the pigs live outdoors. We bring feed to them and they process that feed. Some of it becomes pig meat and some of it becomes uh, manure which then gets spread on the land. We can rotate the pigs to different pastures to, to cycle the nutrients. That way we don't have to apply as much fertilizer. We don't have to uh, spread manure that accumulates in a confinement house and uh, a lot of people think that the pigs seem happier. We're beginning to expand into some non-traditional uh, products for Kentucky. Uh, one of them is uh, shiitake mushrooms. We've been growing shiitake on log culture, uh, meaning oak logs that are thinned out of the college forest. My biggest project is to help start a organic commercial scale shiitake mushroom facility. The other area where we're expanding is uh, aquaculture. Uh, we're taking the old hog waste lagoons, and this year we grew tilapia for the first time from start to finish, and we processed, cleaned, and froze them and have been selling them at the farmer's market. We found that it's not possible to be profitable selling raw commodities. Uh, market prices are often at or below the cost of production. So we've tried to find ways to add value so that it's, it's profitable and feasible for someone to do this and make a living. Uh, one very simple example is turning corn into certified organic cornmeal, which has a, a much higher value per pound than does the raw feed grain. We've taken farm ingredients from the college farm, grains, meats, vegetables, fruits, and we've tried to add value by uh, developing products, testing products, evaluating the financial side. As a consequence, there's been a lot of student interest. So students have been exploring different products, 
uh, asking us to grow new crops, for example, or even new livestock species like chickens. The farm allowed me to start my poultry project this year. Um, not a very big project, but just something to sustain the people around here that want that local meat, local poultry. And so we have a fairly diversified market and students are involved in all of that, including the food service here on campus where students get to eat what they grow. We have an online store where customers can order ahead of time and then pick up at the farmer's market. And then we sell, of course, at the farmer's market year round. We have meats, produce, grains, beans, and then some value-added products such as jams, and we cook food ready to eat. Taking raw ingredients from the farm in which we make bread, pizzas, sausages, you know, just all kinds of stuff. A former student and myself built the uh, wood-fired bread oven. We had already had the, the mobile kitchen, so we pretty much immediately started bringing food to the farmer's market. What we have is a a student-driven management system. My family's been sustaining themselves with farming for generations, going back to like the 1700s. I think it's an exciting time to be on the Berea College farm. There's a lot of changes going on. We're using uh, fewer non-renewable resources, such as fertilizer and fuel. Um, we don't know what agriculture will look like in, in 10, 20, or 30 years. Uh, students need to understand that they can't simply grow a product uh, they need to think about it from beginning to end, all the way from the seed to the market. And uh, we want them to be smart business people with a social and environmental ethic. Come here, piggies. Yeah, big, 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 big. <laughs> Come on, little guy. Come on, big. 